Hey guys, I'm officially a college student. Last day before I leave for college. I'm excited to take you guys with me, but this is crazy. All of this stuff needs to be packed. Well, I guess not all of it because I have a small dorm room, but a lot of it. Okay, so let me tell you the plan. First off, I need to re-record a little sketchbook flip through video. I'm going to record it right at that little table. So I have to pack all my stuff because I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Yeah, so with this coffee, we can do anything. I'm gonna clean that up and get the sketchbook flip through video rolling. Okay, it's all set up now. Now I just need to record this. See, got my little candle, my plant. I think I'm actually gonna go switch that plant out because it's a little too big and I can't make some more space for my sketchbook when that's there. So I'm gonna go grab my other ivy plant and then let's get, let's get recording. Okay, this one is much better. It has a lot less leaves. And from this perspective, we'll just have a few little leaves popping into the scene. So we're excited and ready to go. Okay, so I got my video re-recorded and the next thing I have on my list is to get this ready to go. So this I normally keep in my freezer, but I'm going to college and I don't have a big freezer. I'm going to clean this off right now and the plan is um, to get like magnetic, a magnetic strip of tape and like little tins to put my paint in so I can store tiny bits of paint in my freezer rather than a whole palette box. So I'm going to clean this off. My dad just got back from the store from getting the Altoids and the magnet tape. The garage door is open now and it's like happy daylight. We love, we love natural light. So I'm gonna finish getting this stuff off of the palette box. Okay, so we got this palette box all cleaned off and all of the wet paint that was still on there cleaned off on a flat, dry surface for the tape to stick to. Got the tape all lined up. There we go. Okay, well this is great. Seat. That's super exciting. Thank you, Dad. Welcome. <laughs> See? <laughs> okay, now time to pack. Okay, so as we were moving the shelf, I found something. I found my glasses. I've been missing my glasses for a while. Did you guys know I needed glasses? Well, it's a minimal need, but still, you don't get glasses if you don't have a need. And I found them. 
I'm so happy. I can't believe I found them. I thought they were gone. I thought I left them somewhere or something. They're in their case with my little cleaning cloth. Glasses found. So happy. That looks nice and set, but now we have the rest of the room. You know, this is gonna happen. This is gonna happen. There's me, that's my back. But yeah, my sister came in and started helping me like put trash bags over my clothes so they will be easy to transport. So you just let the hangers pop out of a hole and then carry those. It's a really simple hack, but I was super glad and it was super helpful that she came to help me. So, thank you, Audrey. It's the morning of the move in. It's 7.02 a.m. and we have all of the stuff packed. And in the minivan back there, we're taking my brother's stuff and mine. Um, crazy. It feels so surreal. Ah! Okay, here's the dorm. There's our name. Let me show you. Here's our dorm. This is my roommate's area. She's got a lot of bed. This is my bed and my desk, which I can pull out when I need. My slippers and backpack. This is my little tiger, my little mascot. This is my diffuser and my coffee stuff. And this is the room. My pretty rug. There I am, hello. We're still getting set up, but I think I'm very happy with this so far. We love our little window and it's starting to feel pretty homey. So we're really excited about it. Also, this wall will have stuff on it, but the dorm has like a lot of extra humidity during like move-in week because people are opening and closing the doors so much. And so since there's all that humidity on the walls, things don't really stick. So they recommend you wait like a week or so. So I will have stuff up on my wall over my bed, but not yet. And I'll show you guys whenever I do have that. Hey guys, I'm officially a college student. I haven't checked in with you guys since I moved in, so I wanted to catch you guys up. So it's been a rainy day on campus and um, I have this beautiful, luscious green scenery now, like with all of this rain, it's so beautiful. This past weekend since I moved in, we've had welcome week. And so all of the freshmen move in and then have all these activities to like get to know the campus, get to know each other, make friends and everything. So it's been really fun. I'm just so thankful I get to be here and get to experience this. Today was my first day of classes. Crazy. I kind of walked in this morning like feeling a bit uncertain. As you guys know, like I've been homeschooled. A lot of these experiences are so new for me, but I walked into the class and just was met with such a kind professor. Like, and it just made me like realize a lot of times things can get built up, like how crazy they'll be or how overwhelming they'll be or how stressful they'll be. And like, they even can be blended with excitement. Like I was excited for today, but I was also overwhelmed and like felt so like uncertain about what the day would hold. And it just started to get built up in my mind about like not knowing what would come. But whenever I actually got there, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Anyway, so that was just something I was taking away from today. But then I got to go to my visual fundamentals class, which is the first art class of my college experience, which is crazy. I don't know, just the fact that I'm here, I'm a freshman at college, and I'm here for art, I'm studying, like, how crazy is that? And tomorrow I have my drawing class, and I'm so excited for that one also. I just wanted to check in with you guys, say hi, and tell you how my first day was, because it was so good, and I just wanted to share with you guys, like, don't walk in with assumptions in a day. Like, 
good things can happen. Good things can happen, even if you don't expect them. But for now, I'm gonna go get some dinner at the cafeteria. Okay guys, so today I'm on campus and I'm going to be sketching around and just finding some things that are pretty to me to sketch. Um, I have an assignment for my drawing class where we have to just, you know, do some sketches every week. So for this week I decided I wanted to sketch some iconic things on campus. So I'm going to go around and try to find some things to draw. I'm excited I'm getting the structure in and I think I'm gonna add like a few colors but kind of keep it minimal so we'll see I just brought a color a few colored pencils let me show you guys what I brought okay so I brought everything in this little pin pouch this is a bag my mom got me it pulls up and can be a bag or um, this slides down so you can set it down um, so I brought a few of my favorite colored pencils I brought just this many which is six seven eight um, which I brought dark brown, grass green, burnt ochre, lime peel, sienna brown, light cerulean blue, dark green, and crimson red. I was going for more of like a natural theme today. I brought a 3B Prismacolor um, graphite pencil, just a normal number two pencil, a blending tool, and I brought a gum eraser and a little pencil sharpener and a plastic bag so all of this fits in here and this is what I brought and then I have a 9 by 10 9 by 10 8 by 10 um, 7 by 10 I was completely wrong 7 by 10 sketchbook so that's what I'm using if you were interested also I'm just using the burnt ochre for my sketch So I just walked to one place that I thought would be really pretty, but there was kind of a lot of um, utilities there, like electricity and like just a lot of cords and wires and metal boxes. So I'm coming this way towards the cafeteria. Um, there's a really pretty tree over here. You can see it. It's that big one right there. And I see it every time I eat whenever I'm in the cafeteria, I see it out the window. So I'm gonna go see if I can find a place that 
you can see the tree really well. So I'm going that way. We'll see what I find. Okay, I found a spot where you can see the trees really well. The windows that are in the cafeteria are up there. So this is basically the view I see them from the cafeteria. So I'm gonna draw them right there. The little clouds, I think, also. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna fill up the rest of the space on the page with some clouds. So the clouds are so pretty today, all the contrast. So I just have one blue pencil. So I'm gonna try to make some like negative space clouds. We'll see how that goes though. Okay, I'm all done, and this was such a fun little drawing, um, so rejuvenating for me. Like, I came out here and this has just been so relaxing and peaceful, and I'm ready for another week of college now that I've got a little sketch, a little outdoor sketch. Anyways, thanks for coming along with me. This was really fun to do, and so many people were so kind. Definitely will be doing this again, coming out and drawing. It's so beautiful on this campus. Ugh, so many more things to draw, can't wait. So I just got back from my classes today. My roommate is still at her class. So I thought it'd be a perfect little time to catch up with you guys. So let's sit down and catch up. So yesterday I had my first drawing class. We went through our syllabus, but also we got to draw a chair. We, he, the professor put a chair in the center of the room and we all did a still life sketch of a chair. We had around 10 minutes, so this is the chair I drew. <laughs> There's the chair. There it goes, focusing. Um, so this is a little chair we did. Um, I obviously could see the back of the chair, but it was really fun. We had like 10 minutes to sketch the chair, and then we went over and did a little master study of this drawing. This is Matisse's drawing, um, made of hair. Yeah, drawing class was so fun. I'm just really excited about my classes. I was thinking about like this education that I get to choose, you know? Like in high school, it's like required that everyone goes to high school, but you don't have to go to college. Succeeding is like a choice and it involves hard work and dedication and like being invested in your classes. 
um, but also like in your future. And I just feel excited for the rest of the year. I know it's gonna be a lot of hard work. I feel like this first week has just taught me a lot about like being ready for that, you know? Last time I talked to you guys two days ago, I was feeling like overwhelmed at the beginning of the day, but then realizing like I had so many assumptions, but just kind of realizing that those assumptions weren't helpful in actually moving, helping me move forward. And then today, just thinking about like, why did I choose this? And like, because I chose it and I'm glad I chose it, how can I like make the most of that? By doing the best I can in every art project because it's gonna help me grow. It's been so crazy. It's felt like, mm, like a month or months. I don't know, it's felt like a really long time since I was at home packing up to leave for here. This experience feels a lot like my artistic journey having to take risks and do new things and try new things like going to college and moving away from home like it's hard and it's hard work but it's so exciting and really does pay off in the long run so i i'm super excited to take you guys with me on this journey um of being an art student you know moving through life going to college uh all the art projects I'll have to do, just sharing those with you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was such a fun video to make. It's so cool to like go back and watch like the process of leaving home, packing up, and then getting here and like experiencing my first classes. It's just like a fun thing to like look back on for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>